Hey what's up guys I'm Lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel in this video I'm going to talk about iOS 16.5 beta 1 update on my iPhone 10R so this is an iPhone 10R and yesterday night I have received iOS 16.5 beta 1 as you can see from the screenshot it came in about 5.06 gigabytes of course the size is huge because it was on iOS 16.4 RC and whenever from a public series of update you go to a beta series of update the update size will be huge so in this video let's talk about some of the new features of iOS 16.5 what iOS 16.5 beta brings to the table and make sure you watch this video till the end so that you get to know about all the new features and all the new changes that's coming your way with iOS 16.5 public release which is probably a month away from now so with that being said let's get right into the video but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on this channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first let me go to the settings general and about section if i go to the about section as you can see from the ios version it says ios 16.5 and the new build number with ios 16.5 beta is 20 f 5028 e so the letter e at the end it denotes that we are probably going to see few more betas before we get to see the public release this is beta 1 probably beta 2 and then beta 3 and then beta 4 and then probably the release candidate and then the following week we might expect the public release so definitely a long time from now we are going to see the public release of iOS 16.5 so the first change that has to be there with iOS 16.5 beta series of software is a new modem firmware update so i've taken a screenshot let me see that whether i can find that so as you can see before updating for this specifically this iphone 10r the modem firmware was 5.02.02 and if i show you now it has been you know it has been changed to 5.02.01 i've seen this trend specifically for iphone 10r you know they keep on hovering between you know 5.02.01 and then 5.02.02 iphone 10r at this point in time while making this video is a pretty old device i don't think so it is going to get any new modem firmware update unless it's a big change or something is really wrong with the existing modem firmware so definitely it's a change from what we used to see on ios 16.4 but then again, if you are using any other device than iPhone 10R, probably iPhone 11, 12 or 14 series of iPhone, definitely you would be able to see a new modem firmware update. So the highlight is with iOS 16.5 beta 1, there is a new modem firmware update. The next thing is that if you go to the software updates and go to the beta sections, as you can see, let me show you mine. As you can see, my email ID is registered to both the developers beta and the public beta version. So I'm getting it on the option to turn it off and then I can put it to iOS 16 developers beta and even I can put it to iOS 16 public beta. So going forward, Apple is just trying to make sure that you are not going to get the developers beta just by you know downloading a you know beta profile from a sketchy website you have to have your email id registered to your apple developers program and have to pay a monthly or a subscription fee yearly so in order to get the developers beta update so that's the thing apple is trying to do it's a good thing security wise so you know you don't have to install any profiles in order to get the developers or the public beta updates you just need to have your email id registered to the respective beta program and then if you just select the respective options you would be able to see the you know ios updates for example i have my iphone 13 over here let me show you the same so if i go to the settings and go to the general and click on the software updates so let it load so it will give me the beta updates right so right now it is set to off uh, let me show you why because i'm running ios 16.4 the public release of ios 16.4 but if i want at the same time if i choose ios 16 developers beta and if i go back as you can see uh, without installing any profile i would be able to sort of get ios 16.5 developers beta so that's the option that's the power of you know the integration and the automation they're trying to you know uh, do it for all across the board and all across the platform so that's the thing which as i wanted to highlight here so apart from that there are a few couple of changes the major thing is that now with siri you can start your screen recording and even you can stop it so i have both ios 16.4 on iphone 13 and ios 16.5 developers beta on iphone 10r on the right hand side so let's see how this works hey siri 
start screen recording. All right, so probably it got confused. Let's try it one more time. Hey Siri, start screen recording. As you can see, it took uh, you know a couple of uh, time, but it actually started the screen recording. And as you can see from the top left corner, uh, the by the symbol, the screen is actually getting recorded. But there is one bug. If I pull down the control center, as you can see, the screen recording option over here, it is not actually highlighted with red color. So normally, without the you know the Siri command, if you just try to record a screen, so then it would be actually highlighted, letting you know that it is recording a screen. But if you record a screen with Siri, then the only uh, thing you would be able to notice is a you know highlighted option at the top left corner let me just stop the screen recording hey siri stop screen recording okay so as you can see it stopped the screen recording and the screen recording is available at your album and you can go ahead and view it so it was not there with ios 16.4 but this is a new option that is integrated with siri with ios 16.5 beta 1. i've tried this couple of times sometime it works sometime it doesn't work depends on a lot of factors depends on the network connectivity or the Wi-Fi connection. So definitely uh, keep in mind all these things. If you're trying out this new Siri screen recording option, then you have to keep all these things in mind. And it doesn't work all the time. It's a beta software. So definitely with public release, it is going to work all the time. Apart from that, there were a couple of changes with Apple News application and then you have Apple Pay later option. Those things we are not using at the country like India. So we don't have Apple Pay services in India. We don't have Apple News applications right in India. So for the people who are living in India, those are not important. Apart from that, there was one more change that, you know, Apple, you might be knowing that today is 29th of March when I'm recording this video. So yesterday, Apple released Apple Music Classical. So if you have a subscription for Apple Music, then you would be able to sort of get that application from the Apple App Store and can listen to the classical songs by genre by genre and by categories if you're into classical songs and stuff. But I'm a Spotify guy, so I don't use Apple Music at the moment. So then again, you have that if you are already uh, having a subscription of Apple Music. Apart from that, there are no changes. I'm hoping that there would be some more new features with upcoming iOS 16.5 beta 2 and beta 3. But if I take a look at the battery, uh, let me see that whether there was any battery health drop. As you can see, battery is still at 88%. I'm not surprised because I hardly use this device. I just, you know, make some calls some days and then use it barely. So if you can see the screen on and screen off time, you would be able to sort of, you know, guess it. So then again, uh, in terms of performance, the performance is fine. Few people were complaining about the iPhone storage. So let's have a look at that as well. If I go to the general and iPhone storage, I loaded it before I started recording the video. So that's why it loaded it quickly. So if I go down here, you can see that iOS is consuming 8.94 gigabyte and the system data is consuming 11.48 gigabyte. So, you know, at least it's better than before. So previously, I remember when we were on iOS 16.2 and 3, for some people it was consuming a huge amount of storage this is the system data is basically the system cache and you really don't need to worry about that ios is you know intelligent enough to make a smart decision and manage the system data accordingly so there is no issue with iphone storage at all so, and if you talk about the geekbench score for your reference these are the geekbench score the single core score came in about 1037 and the multi core score came in about 1964. I know that the scores are really low for iPhone XR and even for iPhone XR on iOS 16.4 beta 5, the scores were actually good. So even better than this. So I have just installed the update and probably, you know, there is some heat I can feel at least right now while I'm recording the video. So probably after a few days using it, if I just again do the Geekbench 5 score, the scores would be improved. So I just wanted to give you the Geekbench 5 scores as well. Then again, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know in the comment section whether you have installed and downloaded iOS 16.5 beta 1. What are your expectations from iOS 16.5? Let me know that in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.